What was your Tinder picture? Well, there was, oh. there was a bunch of them. There was like four of them. Yeah, it's but like what was little, your first one? Uh, I think it was, was me it the, on the was... sideline looking up. No, it was. Shut up. You no, did. it wasn't. <laughs> Here's the problem. Everybody, you were an Eagles player. Yeah. Wait, I said, wait. I am Jason Kelsey, legendary <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles no, didn't. <laughs> Swipe right if you're into the oh, Eagles. Oh, my God. Kylie, you fell no, for that? Did. No, he didn't. You want to know the best part? Everyone did. <laughs> so on Tinder. <laughs> You're such an ass. Go ahead, guy. Go ahead, guy. I found out years later that he thought that there was evidence in his profile that he played for the Eagles. And he said he mentioned something about, well, there was a picture of a TV screen. Yeah. On a game, I guess it's when he was injured. No, or no, maybe a preseason. preseason. And he, it was it was part of his profile. And mm -hmm. I said, there was no picture of you. Like, there was no picture of a TV screen. Needless to say, it was cropped to fit Tinder. And so the only thing you could see was his face. Yeah. So you couldn't, couldn't see the, the lower thirds. You couldn't see the ticker. You couldn't, you couldn't see, see any of the anything. graphics. All you could you see. You couldn't even see the Eagle sh emblem on his yeah. shirt. All you could see was an athletic Issued shirt on a sideline with a bunch of other people. Oh, you're you such a little. It was so discreet. Being a brat. <laughs> it's a beautiful love story. It's the start of a beautiful love story. <laughs> yep. I got to get back on Tinder and show a preseason sideline pick of me. You think, Kai, you think I should go stash or no stash? You think they recognize Ooh, this me if is a I good did question. stash? They probably would, would, they if, would probably think I was like that, an equipment if, manager if I just had the stash on. For a Tinder, Tinder bio, are you pro stash or not? Pro stash, anti stash. I'm gonna. You hear that? This is. I heard it the other day. If you could stop. <laughs> this is this is gonna sound a little harsh, but I think you should do the mustache because if they'd swipe right at your worst, then they'll love you at your best. Oh, there you go. Nice. That's good thinking. That's not, that doesn't even hurt my feelings. That's just smart. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just genius. Get those expectations down. Yeah. Set them low. <laughs> it's really set them down. low. So when did you find out that the guy you fell in love with on Twitter was a Neanderthal and just an absolute disgusting human being? I mean, I think I told her about it right away. <laughs> oh, it was in your it was in your Tinder profile. <laughs> it wasn't in the profile, but it was definitely well. His profile at the time was something to the effect of "I want to have deep, meaningful conversations and talk about getting married and having kids" or something like that. Jokes on him. <laughs> <laughs> who got the last laugh <laughs> it was pretty evident when the first time well i shouldn't say the first time the second time that we hung out what happened the first time well you fell asleep 45 minutes after i got there on the bar table because he was too drunk and not then, a good first date and then bo allen uh accomplished the most impressive physical feat of his life when he fireman carried jason back to his apartment i could see bo doing that Honey Bobo. Shout out to Honey Bobo. Exactly. He emphasized that someone who's dead weight is difficult to carry, but Jason fought him the whole way. <laughs> Even harder than dead weight. It was anti. It was <laughs> physically fought him the entire way. You're making me look stupid in front of my for this girl. Yeah, I was wiggling free. I was making it difficult for him. It became a challenge halfway yes. through. But yeah, definitely fell asleep, got a little bit too inebriated. But I was I was sober enough to know it was the most beautiful woman I had ever seen in my life. It was love at first sight. Let me tell he you. He doesn't even believe in love at first sight. I didn't until I met you. And it was like <laughs> fireworks exploded at the door. The moment you walked through the door, Buffalo Billiards. I, I want to feel those fireworks. It was like, if you, you know, like when a movie has like an angel walk through doors and it's like there's only like one light on that person. That's what happened. I've That's always what it, wanted that to happen. It was like it was like I was in a movie for a split second. And now you guys made a movie about yourselves. He's about so that? full of it. I'm not. I'm not making any of this up. You just built up watching the documentary even more. Second date went much better. I didn't. I didn't black out or fall asleep. I'm not gonna lie. Picturing you with with angel wings right now is pretty cool. Yeah. The se the second. She time didn't have wings. Out. I didn't say wings. Oh, like an angel. With it was like yeah. an angel in a scene where the light is like only on that person. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It wasn't. I guess. Have you ever seen Twilight? Not what he experienced. <laughs> no. It was like when the vampires right go now. into the sun in Twilight. 
Kai, when you saw him, your kind of your world got dark, and you were like, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> no, I saw him, and I thought to myself, "You're wearing plaid and really leaning into the lumberjack thing." He, when we first met, he so had the man bun, you saw still a, a full man- beard. Ooh, man he bun. still had the man bun. She's a big man lumberjack bun with a man bun. <laughs> mm. See, he- the man bun was helpful in the early stages of our relationship because I could he tell when hair. he. Mm. No, I could tell when he was blacked out because he would send me a selfie and his hair would be down. As soon as I got a selfie with his hair down, I was like, I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> That's good. 